Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Friday, April 23rd. Well, it may just be the work of a prankster, but Methuen police are taking it seriously. We have a story up this morning by our own Bill Kirk, who was out this morning about uh, these uh, bombs that uh, are being built out of uh, plastic water bottles, uh, typical water bottles that you'd find. Now, police actually responded to uh, Edgewater Street uh, this morning. Now, this is the third device they've found in uh, recent weeks and uh, they're trying to find out who did it. They're putting up a $5,000 reward for any information that leads to the conviction of the person who's made these devices. Now, these bombs are actually pretty simple. As I said, they're used, uh, you know, a plastic water bottle, uh, using chlorine and other chemicals, uh, and basically they mix them, they put them in uh, to the mailbox, and then wait for them to explode later on. The one that happened this morning uh, actually didn't explode. The two others did. Now, you can find out how to build these things actually pretty easily on the Internet. There's actually stuff on YouTube uh, to show people how to build them. Uh, police are concerned not only for uh, the amount of damage they might cause and the fact that it's a criminal act, but they say they're also concerned for any uh, would-be pranksters who might build these things, uh, who they say it's actually pretty dangerous to be messing with these chemicals and trying to build your own bomb. Now the next story we have comes from Salem, New Hampshire. Representative Ron Bellinger is asking the city to take a hard look at one of their uh, regulations that he says uh, is a little bit outdated. It has to do with the town code requirements that require a massage therapists to do two things, to get an annual physical to prove that they have no communicable diseases and also to keep a record of all of their customers and when they come. Now, Bellinger says this is a throwback to a time where uh, massage therapists uh, were part of massage parlors, where a questionable business may have taken place, and he says it's time the city take a look at this and uh, maybe consider revising it. Now, proponents say that in the past there really has been a problem and uh, that this has been used to uh, ensure that the massage therapist is in fact running a legitimate business. Now that Salem story you can find under the New Hampshire tab on our website and the story about the uh, chlorine bottle bombs you can find under the Merrimack Valley tab. We do categorize the stories according to where they're from and you can also find the most recent news that we publish as I said yesterday under the latest news tab. Now the bomb one actually will be up there right now because uh, that's a story that uh, Bill Kirk just published this morning. Just a reminder that you can find all these stories and a lot more at eagletribune.com right now.